ready to go to the book of Genesis. Praise God. If you have your Bible, go to the book of Genesis. Greet your neighbor and just say, neighbor, I believe beyond any doubt that you are here for a purpose and that there is something that God wants to do in your life. Praise God. Praise God. Is your neighbor responding? Is your neighbor responding? If they are not responding, just awaken them or by the head. Praise God. Hallelujah. There is the laying of hands and there is the slapping of hands. Hallelujah. So if laying of hands ain't working, increase the force. Praise God. Hallelujah. We bless God beyond any doubt. We started on speaking on the creative ability of men through God. Hallelujah. And I believe if you go through last Sunday, you realize the steps in which men ought to create as God created. How God did it is what he wants men to be. One of the reasons why God created men is so that men can bring the blueprint of God into the world. That which he does can also be seen and be done on this earthly realm. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? So as you are a child of God, you realize that one of your biggest responsibilities is to tap in the mind of God. And to bring what you have visualized and seen in the realm of the spirit to be tangible into the realm of the physical. Am I communicating to somebody here? So when you read, when God created men, the Bible says, and God created men, and God said, let us make men in our own image, after our own likeness. The reason why God was creating men is so that men can not only become a blueprint, but men can also expand that which he had created. Hallelujah. Am I communicating to somebody here? That men can also what expand that which he had created. Hallelujah. Mm, let us go to Genesis chapter number 3. Genesis chapter number 3. We will start from verse number 1. My good God. My good God. Genesis chapter number 3 from verse number 1. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast. The serpent was more cunning than any beast. Of the field which mm -hmm. the Lord God had made. Mm -hmm. And he said to the woman, mm -hmm. Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat it, mm -hmm. nor shall you touch it, mm -hmm. lest you die. Mm -hmm. Then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Mm -hmm. repeat, so when the repeat woman... Repeat that verse and we'll go down. For God knows mm. that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened mm. and you will be like God, mm. knowing good and evil. Wow. Mm -hmm. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took off its fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her and he, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened. The eyes of both of them were opened. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they knew that they were naked and mm. they sewed, sewed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. Mm -hmm. And they heard that the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Wow. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God and among the trees Adam of the garden. and his wife hid themselves yes, sir. from the presence of the Lord. My God. They hid themselves from the presence of the Lord. My God. David says, Where can I hide? Uh -huh. One of the things about God is it does not matter what you believe. <laughs> it 
does not matter you go to any religion, they will acknowledge <laughs> that there is God. The Bible, when God created man, there is a formula I opened when you read from the beginning. Uh, maybe you can do a recap. Let's go to Genesis chapter number one. When you read your Bible, you realize that God creating, he gave men a formula on how men ought to build and create their lives. Hallelujah. Praise Some will say on how men ought to create how men ought and to build their lives. And build their lives. My God, yes. Genesis chapter number one from verse number one. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. The book of Genesis chapter number one, verse one. Ah. In the beginning, In God. In the beginning, God. Created the heavens and the earth. Created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form. The earth was without form. God did not wait for things to be well. He did not wait for the conditions to be okay. He did not wait for things to be in place. Yes, what God. was in his mind, it was not only it was not only what he projected, it is what he created. Most of the times, one of the reasons why many people do not get to a place where they live in their God-designed destiny, they are waiting for certain things to be in line. Jesus. God did not wait for things to be in line in the midst of the darkness, in the midst of the confusion, in the midst of the voidness. That is where God says, if I am to do something, I have to do it now. Mm. Ecclesiastic says, he who watches the clouds will never sow. He who watches the rain will never sow. Because sometimes when the rain comes, it will just be in a day where it was sunny. So sometimes seasons can change. But when you know the timings of God. So in the beginning, he did not wait. It shows you God is not a procrastinator. My God. If he did it in the beginning, it means he did not wait. There are many people who God has given ideas and a blueprint of what he wants to manifest. Mm. But they are waiting for a certain season and a certain time. Oh, Jesus. In the beginning, the moment God places it in your spirit, let it be done. Yes, sir. So God created that. Okay, verse number two. The earth was without form the and void. Earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. Darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of and the earth. And the waters. spirit of God was hovering over the face of the earth. Then God said. Then God said. Let there be light. Let there be light. And there was light. And there was light. And God saw the light. And God saw the light. So the first thing as God created his soul. Amen. Your vision determines where you will go. Hey. And your vision determines what will become a possibility in your life. Ooh. Ooh. My God. What you cannot see, you cannot handle. Hey. What you cannot see, you cannot possess. All right. There are many people the devil has made sure despite everything they can do they have been made to be blind that is why your, 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 your biggest breakthrough can be besides you but you'll be crying where is my breakthrough the Jesus. enemy knows the first thing every believer should have it is sight look at you by say insight insight look at you by say insight insight look at you by say insight insight Without insight, you can't be invited inside. Hey, deep sir. Kana mashakata kana ba. And God saw. Woo. And God saw. So. What did God do? He saw. Hallelujah. And God saw. saw. What is it that he did? He saw. he saw. The second thing. Verse number three. Then God said. God said. If you can't confess it. If you can't confess it. Mm. 
If you can't confess it, you can't possess it. Hey, Jesus. The Bible says death and life lies in the power of the tongue. Death and life lies in the power of the tongue. And those that want it shall eat the fruit of it. Mm. Death and life lies in the power of the tongue. One of the biggest problems of believers it is their confession ability. Hmm. I was telling us in the morning that if it is written in the Bible and there is a promise about it, then it must manifest. Hey. It must manifest. Yes, sir. I believe. Somebody said God said. God if said. God said, then I must say something. Hey. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. My God. A closed mouth is a what? Closed destiny. The Bible says, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Amen. Amen. No, 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 no. It does not end there. The Bible says, and every tongue hey. that shall be risen against you, thou shalt condemn. condemn. If you yes, can sir. curse, I also have a mouth. Hey. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Loud and clear, sir. Every tongue that shall be risen you in judgment. Amen. That's why, oh yeah, man, no merry palakai. If you can do incantations, I know how to speak in tongues. Vilakota patai. Am I communicating to somebody here? If Amen. somebody can kiss and say you can't be fruitful, you have a mouth. Hey, I have a mouth. What does the Bible say in Job 22, verse 28? You shall decree a thing, it shall be established unto you. Oh. And the light of your declaration shall shine upon your path. Hear you, me. Sir. Whatever you declare, you establish. Yeah. The I reason you, why certain people are not established in life, they are just like a reed, is because they have not understand the power of declaration. My God. David says, the Lord is my shield and my buckler. I shall not be moved. Amen. It does not matter what position you have. You can't move me. Somebody say, God said. And God said. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Oh, so God yes. said it. God saw it. Verse number five. Verse number five. Uh -huh. God called the light and day. And God called. My God. Hear me. There is nothing that will come to you unless it is called. Nothing will just come. Because everything you are looking for is hidden somewhere. I don't know if I'm communicating to somebody. Yeah. Everything you are looking for, it is somewhere. Either someone has it or it is hidden somewhere. Have you not read when the Bible says, I will give you the treasure, the hidden treasures of this world. It means wherever they are hidden, someone needs to utter a word yeah. and say, treasure cometh. I don't treasure. know if I'm communicating to somebody here. Yeah. Somebody yeah. has to open up their mouth and say, resources Come Come. My God. Praise God. And God called. Yes, sir. God called. Many people, the only prayer they know how to call is only the prayer of destiny opens. Nothing else. Eh, eh. Jesus. I hear what I'm saying. I hear you, sir. When you read your Bible, the Bible says after Elijah had stopped the rain for three and a half years, the moment he was praying for the rain, he put his head on his knees or on his thighs like a Hebrew woman giving birth. Seven times he was calling the water. He was not only calling, he was creating the water. Mm -hmm. The prayer of begging is a prayer of someone who's still an amateur. Hey. Kings don't beg. Kings don't beg. Sometimes God wonder, what kind of human beings did I create? Kings don't beg. Somebody say kings don't beg. Kings don't beg. He was creating the rain. Vakaya. Entukaska barata. Yakatokopaya. The Bible says he sent the servant seven times. The seventh time the servant came. 
I said, Master, I see. Hey. I see a cloud Master, I see. like a feast of a man. I Just go and tell Ahab, I hear the sound hey. of an abundance of rain. How can abundance of rain come out of water, of, of, of a cloud like a feast? Somebody has been asking a question. They did it to Jesus and they said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Ayakapala. My size does not impact my impact. Hey. My background will not be the reason why my back will remain on the ground. Hey. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? There's a statement they say dynamites come in small packages. If you have ever worked in the mines or seen a dynamite, it might be small. But check the rocks that it breaks into pieces. Am I communicating to somebody here? The cloud was small. The message is from that cloud. He, he spoke the potential of the cloud. The cloud had no potential. He spoke into the cloud. To say, out of you shall come abundance of rain. When it comes to believers, until we deal with us, the aspect of faith, all these things we are teaching about, portals, deep ascending in the realm of the spirit we will not work. It is like giving bones to a child who has just been born. So many of them are choking and backsliding because they have deep information. They have no ability to swim. Seven dimensions of angels to someone who has not yet mastered how to control their thoughts. Deep, sir. Deep. And God called. Verse number seven. Verse number seven. Uh -huh. Thus God made the firmament. And, and God made. Uh -huh. Somebody say I can make anything. I can make anything out of anything. out of anything. There is no one in this life who God has just planted on this earth to become nothing. That's why I always tell people, you can't be a person. The only thing you are known about is to wake up, eat and sleep. Hey. There are people that are wasted resources when it comes to God. Jesus. That oxygen should have been given to someone else. Mercy, Lord. Hey. Fire. We all go to heaven, but we won't even be the same in heaven. All right. You didn't hear me. I said, we will all go to heaven, but we won't be the same in heaven. I hear you. That's why the Bible says, some, they shall shine like the sun. Some shall shine like the moon. Some shall shine like stars. All right. But there are some. There is a certain animal with a beak that blinks like this. I don't know what you call it. It's a green light. Some they call it chitai tai. Because it says tai, tai, tai. Some that's how they will be shining. Why? Because when they look at what you did on this earth. There is no glory you carried. No glory. Era. Imagine no living glory. a life where there is no one who testifies that you helped their life. Hey, you are a waste God. of energy. Waste of energy. Preach. Is somebody sir. angry? No, sir. Apostle Paul says, Am I now your enemy that I've told you the truth? Hey. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some say, and God created. And God created. So where we read, they were now in the garden and the serpent came right. and a question was asked. Most of the times you realize after everything you are given by God, there are questions and tests that will come. You will never go to the next level until you pass a test. Wealth. 
will never come until you pass the test of greed. God, I'm talking about God's will. It will never come until you pass a test of greed. Amen. Many people want to possess the blessing of Abraham, but they do not want the experience of Abraham. I hear you, sir. And such is the believers we are raising nowadays. 30 years he was waiting for a prophetic word to manifest. 30 years. I, I'm not talking about this bacon kind of believers that they go, even on the crusade they were told once you receive Jesus everything will be fine. So the moment they were in that journey three months They already backsliding. Uh -huh. 30 years he was waiting. When God blessed him, he did not say, I'm blessing you for you to buy a Ferrari. He says, families shall be blessed because of you. So what he was carrying was beyond him. There are certain people, the capacity God has placed in you is beyond you. So even before he unlocks, you, you feel it, I'm big. Before he unlocks it, he has to kill that selfishness. Because what you have is not only yours. It's a tough pill. It's not only yours. You feel there is this anointing I carry. But there is still that pride. And, oh yeah, man, no, sir. When God deals with you, it's not as a pain is also one of the processes God uses. I told you that one of the things during the week you should deal with is a hard heart. Because anyone with a hard heart, the only thing God will use to soften your heart is pain. Oh. In the tools box of God, God. People with a hard heart uses pain. And most of the times, the only pain that will make you soft is the pain of loss. Mm. The pain of loss. <laughs> so before it happens, someone pray like David, incline me the right spirit. Otherwise, the things you will lose until God gets to where he wants to get you. There are certain people, no matter, you, you see them, the losses they are having is just God dealing with them. He wants to bring them to a place. Because what they carry is too much. There are people with wealth beyond what is in their bank now. <laughs> wealth in the spirit. But for that to come, they, there is still this blockage of pride. Mm. Blockage of stinginess. So God put them in the garden. And the Bible says while they were in the garden, the serpent came and says, did, did God say, do not eat of the fruit? He already knows. Satan already knew. But he is asking a question so that we see how where you are standing firm. Did God say you must eat of the fruit? He explained whatever the devil said and whatever she said, all of them were correct. But who said it matter? <laughs> says God says we must eat of all the fruits, but the fruit in the middle of the garden we must not eat. There is a test God will give you, and most of the time the tests of God are to check your level of obedience. That is what God is looking for. Obedience. So he says, all things you might eat, but this fruit you must not eat. And the devil now unveiled it. And he was speaking the truth even what he unveiled. He says, if you eat of this fruit, your eyes will be opened. Do you know what Eve should have asked? Opened to what? He says, your eyes will be opened. You will be like God. 
you now know what is bad and what is good. After the devil had spoken, the Bible says, and Eve saw that the fruit was good to eat. All this time, before the conversation came, she was looking at the fruit. It was not desirable because the information she had was do not eat. But when she was told something that preyed on her greed, Because she was told, if you eat like this, you'll be like God. She looks at her husband and herself. She already imagined two thrones, a king and a queen. Hey. The same thing that made the devil to fall, that is what he applied there. Oh my gosh. So Eve already envisioned, the same way the devil said, I was sent unto the heavens and put my throne beside the throne of God. Ah, Eve already saw herself. I will be like God. So we'll be in the same level. So I'll be when I greet God, I say, hey, Chomiak. Ring. Well says the moment she ate of the fruit, her eyes were opened. She went in to give to the husband. Adam knew. But Adam could not refuse. Because it was Adam who told Eve not to eat that fruit because the instruction was given to Adam. He knew that this fruit do not eat because they were seeing it all this time. Adam ate it. And the Bible says immediately they saw that they were naked. They saw that they were naked. I'm coming to that. What you consume determines what you become. Hey. What? what you consume determines what you see. Amen. What you consume determines what you confess. There are many people you, will not, you, you do not need a prophecy to know that this person does not listen to the word of God. You don't need a prophecy. Just put them close to the furnace of fire. Their confession will tell you. My God. Go deeper, sir. I was telling someone, and I said to them, have you ever realized that if you listen to the news, there is no good news? Hey. And that is why most people that always sit listening to the news are always stressed. Because bad news sells better yeah. than good news. Yes. So as a believer, your faith has to be dealt with. Come, let me show you something. Now, Jesus then said, if you, you say to this mountain, without what? And without cast into the what? And if you do not doubt in your heart, it shall be. Done. It shall be what? Done. It shall be done. Now, let's reverse it. Put the equation well. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth what? Speaks. So it means there is no one who will speak what is not abandoned in their mind and heart. So any confession a person will make, especially they call them abrupt confessions, those ones that just came. It's like they say when a person is angry, what they will say in anger, they were waiting to say it. But there was no, there was no connected emotion <laughs> to bring those words. They were being constructed inside. Nzaku, nzaku, all right. The day you step on them, say, all right. Now there is a legit legality that if I say what I say, I can say, no, I was angry. Yeah. <laughs> so, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. 
So the heart has to be filled with something for the mouth to speak. And Solomon comes and says, as a man thinketh in his, so is his identity. Because so is he means that is his identity. So you are your confession. Some will say you are your confession. Some will say you are your confession. If I would try to go deep with this, I will be in trouble. We will take it next time. She ate and gave the husband and their eyes were open. She ate and their eyes were open. Why am I repeating it? I'm trying to show you that your eyes can open. But there are different realms they can open to. Do you know that Adam and Eve, when they were in the garden, Adam and Eve, do you know that they were naked? But they never knew that they were naked. They were living in a dimension of glory. Yes. They were living in a certain dimension of glory. Where these guys were naked, but they never saw it, they never felt it. They were never ashamed. Because something was covering them. Where I'm trying to take us, if I can only journey with two people, my assignment is done. They were clothed with something. Something that they could not see. What you call reality is not reality. Their eyes could not even focus on what they were dressing. These guys were so clothed in a dimension that Adam could name fish in the deep of the sea. Birds in the highest of the mountain. How do how did he travel there? You want to know? We can go back to where Jesus was tempted. The Bible says, and the devil showed Jesus the pinnacle of the temple. They were in the Jesus is in the valley. Jesus is in the wilderness. But he's at the pinnacle of the temple. There is a dimension. He was naked. They were naked, but they could not feel it. They could not see it. They were not ashamed. It, it was not a reality to them. They were dressed in the most glorious apparel. You see the clothes of the priests. You see those clothes. Those clothes were just a template of a what was taken from heaven. And priests were saying, dress this. They, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was something they were dressing. That is, they walked on the earth. They were, they, they were not normal. They did not need to wash it. Glory was just exhuming. That is why the Bible says, Adam could hear the voice of God walking. Adam could hear the voice of God walking. And the voices when they were naked, they went and hid from the presence of the Lord. Now it is possible. It is possible. Not that God could not see them. Uh -uh. But there is what we call positioning in the spirit. So when God was saying to Adam, Adam, where are you? Where are you? He was not asking about a location. He was asking about the position. Are you aligned? He might have been in Midrand. But that location is not what God is looking for. In deliverance, that's why we say you can go to Canada. Demons don't need visa. So if you don't deal with them here, 
Don't think that flying to another nation will help you. That's why you can be a failure and even travel abroad and be a failure. Again. But because you have not dealt with the important part. Hear me, hear me, hear me. In this last of the last days, there is a glory nature that has to come out from believers. Now, we, we are told how it happened when you read your Bible in a place called Mount Transfiguration. The Bible says, while they were praying, Jesus was praying at Mount Transfiguration. His face changed. When his face changed, the Bible says, his clothes became white. You, you can't explain it. His clothes were not, I don't know, he was wearing brown or cream. That color that is in the middle is called what? Between brown and cream. Beige. It's, it's, Beige. it's, a, it's like a creamish, but it's... Beige. That's the, he was wearing, that's the color Jesus was wearing. That, I don't know the creamish, but that one. That bra between brown and cream. That cloth became white. Moses stepped into this grace where Adam was. Came from the mountain, his face was shining. They had to find a cloth to cover. When you are in that dimension, the things that others see, you can't see. You see, when others are, are stressing about finances, you, your possibilities and your insight is different. Because already the things you are seeing being joined up, others are not seeing. The level of trust you have in God's provision is different from others. Open this last scripture and I hand over. Philippians chapter number 4 from verse number 6. Philippians 4 verse number 6. Philippians chapter 4 verse number 6. Uh -huh. Do not be anxious about anything. Do not be. Now, now this is a, a command. Do not means it's a caution. Do not. You are being told never to do not anxious uh -huh. do not be anxious about anything do not be anxious about anything somebody say anything anything somebody say anything anything somebody say anything anything is rent anything yes, is sir. business anything anything is being married anything anything is getting a job anything anything is buying a car anything anything yes sir is buying another house anything yes sir Is getting solid connections anything? Amen. The Bible is saying, do not what? Be anxious. Do not be anxious. My never. Gosh. When that feeling tries to come, you say never. never. Not here. Not here. Not here. You, are, you do not pay rent here. You were evicted. Not in my mind. Not in my brain. I told you, I made up my mind. Nobody in this life will stress me. I closed the rent house on anyone who might want to bring me stress. Never. Hey. Never. No matter where you are, who you are, nobody will stress me. My gosh. If you come with stress, there's a Bible that says, mark them and avoid them. Ooh, mark and avoid. I can I apply can that scripture them. on you. I will mark you and avoid you. I love mark you, but yeah. <laughs> but go. Yes. Mark them and avoid those that cause what? Division. Division. So you can mark them and say, this one. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. I still love you by the love of Jesus anyway, but, but avoid. there is an aura you carry. An atmosphere. You can't be a fireful person and you are around someone who speaks vulgar all the time. Mark them avoid. 
Someone who you know every time you are around them, they disturb your spirituality. Mark and avoid. Even Jesus did it. There were certain people he did not focus on. So don't be anxious over anything. No matter what situation you might go through. No matter what predicament you might go through. Amen. Don't be anxious. Do not be anxious. Anxiety. Who? Never. Never. Me? When you were born, if it's money, when you were born, money was there. Yes, sir. You are not the one who printed it. It's just an idea. Yes, sir. It's just an idea for someone to make money. You are working very hard to make money so that you can survive. Mm. And even the one you are making is not enough for you to survive. So why can't you tap into God's provision? Uh -huh. Let's finish it. Do not be anxious about anything. Uh -huh. But in every situation. In every what? Situation. In every what? Situation. Come, let me show you. In every what? Situation. In every what? Situation. What is a situation? What? Okay. How, how many geography here? <laughs> what is a situ? Epodo. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> situ. 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 Where So, why list you are here? The question around you, no matter how it dictates. All right. Your surrounding, no matter how it becomes. While you are standing there, don't be anxious. Amen. It takes a different sight. That there are storms around you, you can see them. But still, your foresight and your focus is not on the storm. Yeah. It, takes, it takes a different knowledge. That's where we're going. That your worship, you are seeing finances around marriage, career. You are you are seeing around. You are there on the seat you there. But it's not shaking you. Yes. While this is happening, you are like Job. I know my redeemer. Yes. Hey. While this you are there, you are declaring that Paul. God said to him, my grace is sufficient. It's my like an account. You can never deplete the account of grace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the right one. You can never deplete the account of God's grace. Grace. You might not deserve it, but that's why it is called grace. Unmerited favor. Undeserved favor. Yes. In the midst of hardship. In the midst of frictions. Grace is the grace that brings lubrication. Hey! Grace is the grace. What made them to fall if looked and the tree was good? Uh -uh. I, I can't be attracted to problems. No. There are promises. There is something God says about my life that he has to manifest. This is not the end. This is not how I'm ending. That people in my family ended here. I'm not ending here. This is not the end. 
if you can, if you will not, all right. Whatever you tolerate, you cannot terminate. needs to arise and say this place is too small for me. Anything you are comfortable in, you become conformed in it. The devil loves people to be comfortable. You will be comfortable in smallness, small things. You will be comfortable in small languages. Right now, to show you that we, we, we have a long way to talk about faith. Speak certain figures. You will see that already you are not fighting principalities. The face will change. Just to show if certain people, certain people do not believe in God. They believe in God, but they want to help God in his ability. So when they are brought into certain tables and they hear certain figures being talking, spoken about certain projects, you, you start seeing that inferiority complex start entering. They, they, they will start to shrink. They will start to feel, I can't do this. But who says it will be by your ability? Say unto Zerubbabel, hey. it's not by might. It's not, it's not by power. power. But by my spirit, yes, yes. says the Lord. Mary says, how shall it be? I'll get a child without a man. The Holy Spirit says, no, it's not about your womb. Ah, it shall be when the Holy Spirit shall overshadow you. Meaning, he shall cover you so that your, your thoughts and whatever you think you can do, when you are covered, it's no longer your ability. It's now God. Somebody say, Holy Spirit, overshadow me. Superimpose, superimpose. I decree over your life in the name and the blood of Jesus. May things that you have been trying to do by your own strength, may you find help from God. Amen. May you find help from God. Amen. May you find help from God. Amen. Doors you have tried all you can to open, but they refuse to open. May God open them for you. Amen. May God open them for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That mental blockage that was blocking ideas from coming to you, I command it to be removed right now in the name of Jesus. There is a way out of your situation. Amen. I command that mental blockage. Amen. Shift in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is a way out of your predicament. I command that mental blockage. Shift in the name of Jesus. Shift. Jesus. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet. God bless you. Thank you, Holy Thank you, Jesus. you right now there are certain people as we are praying there are things that have been a nuisance in your life problems you have seen and you, you had accepted there is a way they say this is my fate no 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 there is nothing that is your fate ask Jabez he said never enlarge my territory there is no, no, as long as it is not according to the promise of God, it's not supposed to be part of your life. We are going do, do, to do two things. I want you to close your eyes. You see that problem? That problem that has been the one that has been a thorn on your faith. situation that has been the one messing around with your faith. Yes. That issue. That issue. It has been messing with your faith. As you are closing your eyes, you are saying, Holy Spirit, let this burden, let this burden be taken away from me. Be taken away from me. 
Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Let this burden. Let this burden be taken away from me. Be taken away from me. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Let this burden. Let this burden be taken away. Be taken away from me. In the name of Jesus. 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 I want you as you are closing your eyes. Just gonna do an exercise 30 seconds of realigning destinies Amen. and purposes. Amen. There is a place you should be. There is a place you should be. There is a place you should be spiritually. As you're closing your eyes, the Holy Spirit is gonna take you there. Certain people are supposed to be having businesses. Certain people are supposed to be having houses. Certain people were manipulated. They are stars. Open up your heart to the Holy Spirit. He will take you there in the next seconds. Your spirit will be realigned. Yes. You will feel a shift in your body. Your spirit is being realigned to God's purpose. Whatever witchcraft, manipulation that had been done against your life, it is being shifted now. of God to your right destiny in the name that is above every other name thank you Holy Ghost thank you Holy Ghost I'll count to seven and as I'm counting, just close your eyes. Don't say a word. Just close your eyes. Mm. And open up your heart to Jesus. Open up your heart to Jesus. One. see the results of what I'm talking about. A great door has been opened. Light on your eyes from today. Light on your eyes from today. In Jesus' name. There is someone, uh, something was your, your neck that stiff 
sickness that has been happening on your neck, put your hand on that. You could not you just woke up, something has been happening like an arrow on your neck. I decree in Jesus' name you are set free. You are set free. You are set free. In Jesus' name. Somebody celebrate God.